What is going on guys? It's Pekum Fun Fan97 and I'll be showing you guys how to use maps uh in the new iMovie. I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to use the backgrounds first uh yet. Uh I'm gonna show you that in my next video. If I can, if you guys want a background tutorial. So to begin with, uh go into count uh content library, click on maps and backgrounds, and you should bring up this. Uh go ahead and select one of these globes or maps. Uh, depending which one or which suits you, uh, you can select any of these. I'm going to show you all of the, well, not all of them, but all four of these like that. Uh, so the, the first one is going to be old world globe. So this just gives you an old globe. Uh, the second one is a watercolor globe. The third one is a educational globe. Kind of gives you like that cool ring around it. Uh, and the blue marble globe, which is a hybrid kind of view or satellite view. But it's not satellite. It just gives you a reputation of the Earth. And then you have old world map. So that's cool. You can also just press space. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if you press, if you click on one and click space, that's the real time. So I'm not going to be doing that. But this is a uh, watercolor map. This is educational map. The blue marble map. Old world still. So this doesn't move. It's just still. And it's uh, the whole entire world. Uh, so... Uh, you're going to have to set destination. So go ahead and select one of these. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, first one of these globes. So I'm going to go with old world globe. You can drag it right here or just by double clicking on it will uh, bring it down to the timeline. So just double click it and we'll drop it right there. So that, I find that more uh, useful. So once you have it in your timeline, you want to go ahead and click on adjust right here. You can also just by going on to right clicking and clicking adjust or the shortcut key is three. So once you have the adjust uh, button clicked and it shows up this tools menu, you want to go to route or route, whatever you guys call it. If you're from the west or from the east, west coast, east coast, whatever, um, select the first one, San Francisco. This will be, um, you can choose, uh, well, first let's go ahead and select a uh, city. So right now it's default at san francisco so i'm going to and select somewhere else i'm gonna select utah because that's where i'm from so i'm gonna go ahead and select utah uh let's go salt lake city utah click done so now it's going to give you a point or an anchor point to wherever you positioned or whatever city location you are it points that first then you can click choose and then choose another city i'll name airport some location I'm gonna go with Tokyo or Japan. So I'm gonna go with Japan. Uh, let's go ahead and select. Um, uh, let's go with. I'm gonna go with Tokyo, Japan, because Tokyo, 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 Japan. And then click done. So once you have selected the city, uh, just click done. And uh, once you've done that, you can see this little squiggly, squiggly line. It goes kind of up and down or down and up. Um, if you click that, that will just swap the locations. So now it's from Tokyo to Salt Lake City, or you can click it again, have it to Salt Lake City to Tokyo. So once you've done that, I'll show you how it works. I'll go back. I'll play from the beginning. So you can go from Salt Lake City to Tokyo. It will also choose the quickest way to get there. So of course, it's not going to go all around. It's not going to go. Uh, it's not going to go all around this way and then all around because obviously that takes longer and why would you go that way so you know you got to use your common sense too but it's going to go from Salt Lake City to Tokyo this works with all of the globes as well they're just they just look different now the old old world map is different too because it's, it's a map so I'm gonna select um, this one because I like this one kind of looks like Apple Maps so um, yeah so I do the same uh, go to adjust if it's not there just click on it and it gives you a um, style this you can also select it old world watercolor it's just the same right here if you're just too lazy to move your mouse a little away uh so yeah once you've done that you want to go into route or route and again same thing san francisco is going to have it as default uh in this case i'm going to choose chicago so let's go with chicago illinois for illinois <laughs> And then you want to go with another, choose another city or a second city or a location. I'm going to go with Arizona. Arizona. 
Arizona, USA, click done. Okay, now it's there. So from Chicago to Arizona, or click this to swap it around, Arizona to Chicago. And that's all you gotta do with maps, really. It's really easy. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and play it from the beginning. So here we're in Chicago, we're gonna go down to Arizona, and there you go. That's how to use the maps in iMovie. If you guys uh, go ahead and leave a like in the description, that will help me uh, continue my videos and iMovie tutorials. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.